Okay then, YouTubers, it's uh, Friday the 19th of January. So time for lots of physics fun. It's uh, my birthday today, so that's particularly exciting times. I thought I'd do some stuff, look, with prisms and such like on refraction. So I've got a rather clever bit of kit here. So this is a little rotating sort of a light arrangement where I can have different beams. I can have these thick beams. I can have doubles, triple beams, all sorts. But I'm just going to start really. We're just going to go for a single beam. And here, you can't quite see. I'm going to move it now. Look, um, so here you go. So it's on this little magnetic holder. Kind of made it myself. And it's a lens. And the lens can focus the light. And what I'm looking for, look, this, this beam spreads out and this beam converges. So I'm just using it as a really crude attempt to make a bit of a more focused beam. So what can I do? Well, there's all sorts actually. So we're going to go through a whole series of different effects and you can, uh, can say what you think. So um, that's, this is kind of a cool one. Now I've got to hold this, it's not magnetic at all. So this is kind of the exciting one. So let's see what I can do. So you can turn it. Look, I got it there. This is that really traditional physics effect. So look to the bottom, so where my thumb is, you can actually see a rainbow. The spectrum of colour, it's pretty cool there. It's better, I can see it better than my camera phone, but I'm getting a rainbow of light. Now what I could do is change hands. So this is all a bit of a tricky one. So there we go, change hands. Can you see now, we're getting, hold on, let's try it again. So there's my spectrum and actually, got my sheet of paper you can just see the really good spectrum of light so I can disperse light using a prism and refraction but a much more simpler way to look at refraction okay let's take this prism here so this is a rectangular prism the light ray goes straight through it slows down as it enters a denser medium and speeds up again but it doesn't change direction. Lots of students constantly say refraction is changing direction it's not it's speeding up or slowing down the bigger point is, is that when the beam enters at an angle to the normal, then it changes direction. Now that's not very helpful. Let's turn it around even more. These are very magnetic, unbelievably so. So there you go, pretty straight. Turn it at an angle, what am I getting? Well, the ray turns there and then turns back again. So they're kind of parallel. Look, we can also see a lovely reflected ray that obeys the law of reflection. So there you go. So that is a rectangular prism, super fast. What else can I do? Well, semicircular block, there we go. And I could also turn it, we get reflection and refraction, but this is super cool. I can actually do total internal reflection. So I can go like this, pretty much not a lot happens, or I can turn it, look, there's reflected ray off the inside, there's a refracted ray, turn it again, angle's getting bigger, 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 oh, total internal reflection. So let's turn it a little bit, it's disappeared, hasn't it? And there's a little bit here, bit of colors there. Turn it again, it's gone. If I turn it back a bit, it's poking out the back. Total internal reflection. Well, what's that useful for? All sorts of stuff, really. There you go, that's what we call a waveguide. So we can move it around a bit, so we can turn it and see some different ideas. There you go, ray comes in. Slightly refracted, totally internally reflected, totally internally reflected, refracted out the back. If I turn it a little bit more, a little bit more obvious, that's how a fiber optic works. So we could use refraction to show all sorts of cool stuff. We can also do this one, cat's eye, light comes in, totally internally reflected, totally internally reflected again, comes out, and you've got the cat's eye. So if you're driving along, your headlights shine that way, and they come back to you just like a cat's eye. We could do all sorts of arrangements as well with these. So look, there's one. So we've got TIR. Let's try another one. Okay, what happens here? Does that do anything clever? Ooh, there you go. So the light can come round. So we can have all sorts of clever effects. You can do um, anything you want. Let's have a look. So let's try this one. This way, you can come back again. So there's lots and lots of stuff you can do with these prisms, or you could do something really basic. Have a look. Mirror and the law of reflection. I could do that also. Let's try something really cool. 
let's go for multiple slits hold on let's move this around so hold on let's get these slits right there you go there's three and i'm going to focus them in a bit with my ray box so let's see what i can do hold on with our ray box lens so they're really spread apart and you want to kind of get them so they're parallel it's a little bit it's not quite perfect but here we go and there you can see the law of reflection off a mirror surface isn't it so each time the law of reflection is obeyed and because these are all going in the same direction the rays coming out all go in the same direction so that's about it so it's a little bit of fun with a very simple sort of setup for light you've seen total internal um, reflection you've seen refraction and you've seen simple reflection as well so you go a bit of physics fun on a friday